Hi guys. Hopefully I'm not shaking this. Okay. Hi there. How are you? Um, I am back on Saturday. I look a little white. Um, I might have to stick a little bit more blush on and I did not do a highlighter yet. Let me grab the highlighter I always use when I wear peach because I am getting ready today because today is our Thanksgiving because our family couldn't all be here. So we're doing our thing today. So I'm going to take Dreamlike from, hold on. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take Dreamlike from Noctilucent from Blend Bunny. And I'm going to use that for my highlighter today. It's just if I don't do it now, I'll forget it and I'll go help in the kitchen afterwards and I'll forget to put highlighter on. I love this palette. I can't believe they let this one sell out. Like, I mean, I would think it sells really well. Maybe she wants to do something else. I'm just really glad I got mine before it was gone. I'll tell you that. So I've got my swatches up of uh, Poor Mom Girls Peach Perfect, but this is going to be the first review. But I just wanted to get this on. Now, because I hadn't sprayed my face right afterwards and I applied a little too much powder today, um, my under eyes look like crap. But we're going to deal with it because... Here on my channel, you know, we don't, we're not perfect, but we are working with Peach Perfect today. And that was totally by accident that happened. Um, I am just absolutely blown away by the color story in here. You know, there are only like five of the special shadows. And is it five? One, two, three, four, five. And one of those is a satin and then 10 mattes. But these mats are so amazing. I want you guys to know now, this is so original to my uh, to my collection. I am so excited for it. I am so excited. So I know today that I want to use Fuzzball and the Peach Boys. And Peach Please. I know I want these three in my look. Let's start there and let's build around this, okay? Let's see, what am I gonna wanna do? I think what I'll do is I'm going to keep the peach on the lower lash line for today and I'm going to do a green upper look, but I just, I want both colors in the look today. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by taking peach for the stars through my crease with my Trey Luce B100. And that is this one here. We're going to start with taking this through the crease. Now I am testing every, like every shade I use today. This is the first review episode. So I'm actually going to start here with this one. These are my colors. I'm really excited for this palette. I'm just putting this one down for like a little bit of a base color to have here through the transition. I think that's good right there. Yeah, I'm good with that. Perfect. I really love the nice gradient through the mattes in here of the shades. I think this uh, color story is incredibly smart. I think the uh, market is definitely lacking for this palette. Although, oh, I wish I hadn't picked it up. Uh, Hoppy Go Lucky from Inslee Brain would really play nicely with this. In fact, the uh, Hoppy Hour topper goes very well in this palette. It, you could definitely use those two if you got like tired of these colors and you wanted to just throw something different at it. 
you could use that little six pan if you wanted. Okay, so like I said, I'm just gonna take that one through the crease here. Now I'm gonna grab my Blend Bunny, the one from the Forget-Me-Not, the blender from the Forget-Me-Not set. Probably my favorite blender in my collection. And now I'm gonna go into a Peach Please. So far, um, what I'm seeing is that formula that I'm used to with Gourmand Girls, I have the Haunted palette this color right here that that if you know me i love these colors i love when it's light with a bang cutest little imprints on these two love the little imprints really make it cute so see i chose this one to be just a little bit lighter and then go into that deeper one very buildable Like they start pretty light, but here's the second layer. I don't know if you're going to be able to go too much deeper with the, with this color. So, I mean, it's buildable, but to a uh, point, I'm going to say. Very beautiful muted shade though, when it's on. I wonder what this one would look like on other skin tones. I'm going to try to kind of pack it so that I can get as much vibrance from it as I can. We'll do. We'll definitely do a peach inner corner too. We'll put um. We'll put Papa Don't Peach on the inner corner since it's a multi-chrome. Just stunning, beautiful. I wish I could get this color to look as bright as it is in the pan. I'll try using it again, and when I do, I'll try using something to really pack it on instead, like a more dense brush to pack it on, but I wish I could get this one just a little bit deeper. It's so pretty. See, it just does look very similar to this shade on the eye. This one here. I just wish I could get a little bit more pow from it. Still beautiful. All right, now, God, should I just gradiate through the deep colors? I mean, I could. I could just go ahead and go boom, 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 and then boom, boom. Should we? Let's do it. So now we're going to do Life's a Peach right here. We'll just gradiate down here. Put this one right in here. I wish these ones wouldn't pull quite so similar on the eye. Um, maybe if you were using them by themselves instead of together, you would see more of a difference between them, but they are certainly nice for blending together. You would get them to look different if you weren't using them together. So I would like to say that. So actually, like if I didn't use this color, you would see this color or this color and you would see the difference of it. But because, so actually it is really smart because it, you can use one of them. I'm, and then when you go to blend them, they really blend very cohesively. So yeah, I take that back. They blend very cohesively and there because there are differences in them they're not a bunch of the same color they're not redundant okay and now i'm going into peach out right here and then this one will be in the uh, outer corner so still using the same brush and we'll put this one right here I'll use that Peach Please color right here to blend it out too on the outer edge to maybe add some vibrance. Blend so beautifully, just like Gourmand Girls uh, Matte Blend. I really like Gourmand Girls Matte Formula. That's where it's at for me. And I think they did a better job with these shimmers than they did in the ones in the Haunted. So I've decided this is better than the Haunted palette. It is in my eyes. So, and I don't know if I would have ever thought she would have ever beaten out that one. I loved the Haunted so much. Oh, I still do. Um, but I think 
this really did it for me. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, I don't know that this palette could not be in my top 10. I'm pretty sure this is going in my top 10, but I'm not going to say anything else. That's why another reason why I refused to uh, not get it in the, you know, in the review or do my review too quickly because this palette had to be in it. It would have been completely unfair if I hadn't waited because I didn't want to be patient. I mean, people haven't even put any of the videos out. I was probably the first one to load best and worst already. But I just don't have the huge makeup collection that a lot of people have, which is fine. But I don't want to do my videos too soon either. And they'd say, well, then how'd you really test it? But I'm not buying any other makeup for the rest of the year. The regular makeup, I'm not buying any more. I'm done. I'm, in fact, I only plan on buying real of fairies by Bella Beauty Bar and I'm done for the year. It all depends on how much my check is tomorrow. Okay, so um, now I'm going to go with the lower lash line and I want the lower lash line to really pop. So I'm going to use the shade the Peach Boys because it's super bright. And then I'm going to go into this one here, uh, Peach and Quiet. So I'm going to grab this little Blend Bunny B3, I think. Yeah, B3. And I'm going to take the Peach Boys. It's like super duper vibrant and bright. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I am loving this. Oh, my God. It's so awesome. Oh, my God. Christina, you did so good. Oh, my God. You're probably so busy, like, with orders right now. That's why you can't reply. You're probably so busy like, shipping out orders right now from Black Friday. Trust me, I don't expect you to reply. When is this kind of time of year? I'm not expecting a reply right away. I haven't even posted any of the looks to Instagram yet. Just YouTube has gotten them so far. Or any of the content yet. Did you guys see what I did in the other video? I was so excited I swatched it before I got the pictures. I was so excited. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of that peachy keen color. Well, first I want to blend this a little bit better. Look at me, I'm so excited. So I'm just going to take this, blend a bit, and then we need to deepen that again. We'll go back into the Peach Boys. There we go. That looks a lot better. Back into the Peach Boys. This one is just so, like, electrifying and bright. And now back into Peach and Quiet. See how it's even, like, brighter? I could have done just Peach and Quiet and then the uh, Peach Boys underneath it, too, and then it would have, like, gradiated, a too. That would have been another, like, look I could have done. Oh, great. Eyes are watering underneath. It's not the formula. They've been doing it for four days now. <sighs> hate it. It's, like, a nightmare for somebody doing their eyeshadow when their eyes do this. Okay. And I do think I want... I don't know what I want in the inner corner. I think I... Hmm, I kind of want to put Papa Don't Peach down here. And I kind of want to put this one in the inner corner, I think. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to grab to do... Uh, Papa Don't Peach. I'm going to grab quite a bit of it. And take Papa Don't Peach all the way under the lash line. That way I can get some of that like multi-chrome shifting going on. I love, if you don't, if, if you guys hate when those satins come in palettes, I highly recommend you try them on your lower lash line to get some use out of them. And my favorite place to put them is on the very first quarter of my eye, just so I'm even getting some use out of them so they just don't go like completely not dipped into it all. And they actually hold on to the lower lash line all day long really well and keep it, keep it pigmented, you know, so they don't really fade that well or they don't fade. They stay on the eye really well. So I recommend like this peachy keen shade, try putting that kind of stuff on the lower lash line, especially that first quarter of it. I love it right there. Okay, so now I'm going back into peach, please, because I want to do around the edges here to really try to make that color pop. 
So I'm just going to grab this one since it's a lot cleaner. It looks like whatever I used was pretty close to that color last time. I need to get brush cleaner. I just washed my brushes last weekend, so I have like another week that I need to get brush cleaner. Now, I also want to try again to just brighten a little bit of this. There we go, just like so. These little imprints are so precious too. I think they're so cute. Oh, my eyes look so old and wrinkly today. And then I want it to go around this to try to, I want to try to get it to pop though. That color's not really right for it, is it? Let's go to this one. Yeah, I think a mixture of those two might be better. I don't want to take too much of that away. I don't really like that. Hold on. Did I go into? I did not yet. Hold on, let's finish this last color. So I need to go into one of peach, uh, one of peach me. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. One of peach me. Let's get one of peach me. Now I probably shouldn't have layered so many shades, but I'm surprised these are still like gripping on, on quite a bit of. A lot of colors here and they're still like building and blending you know how you can't always just like keep adding and adding color before it just won't hold or stick i've literally put like every color green on and it's still sticking so that's pretty impressive now just anything that's left on the brush just kind of helping to blend that oh yeah i'm liking that okay same thing, other side. Yeah, let's fix this, what I did over here. Let's fix my mistake, shall we? Okay, there we go, fixing it. Yeah, that color wasn't gonna hit right. This color looks fine with it, but the other one's too warm. I needed this cool one to go with this cool lighter color. That other color was way too warm for this color to make it like look right. It needed a cooler tone. So it made it look chunky, kind of. Yeah, um, I think Peach Out and I'm Peachless will be really nice together. They'll be a more warmer look, but these are kind of cooler colors, and I kind of feel like they were fighting a little bit with each other. Not that they can't work together, just that for the look that I was going for, for the tones, the, the, the hue that I was using was a cooler tone, and it really didn't look like it would have vibrated that color off of it, so... I had to switch it to the cooler tone. If you, if I'm making any sort of sense right now, I don't know if I am. But what I'm trying to say is, is that this color is very warm, and this color is very cool, and then this color is cool, and that it didn't look good having this color on the edge of this. It didn't look like they meshed together, not in like a palette together, but as in this color would not turn this color if it got lighter is what I mean. It's too warm. This is too cool. Um, that's not a fault. That's just, I want, basically I want this color and this color together is what I'm saying. Cause this one's my favorite color in the palette. See what I'm saying? That just looks better. Yeah. That looks like it naturally would turn into it. Yeah. There we go. See, no watch. See, it looks like it naturally turns into that color. Like in the world of color theory. And I'm just trying to kind of fix that blend right there and actually see what I'm doing in the mirror. You can make the most beautiful color blending those two together. You could make your own color so gorgeous mixing those two. Oh my God. I am almost done. I'm gonna be putting on a brown eyeliner, my point made in um, the uh, Busty Brown by Patrick Starr. I'll be putting that on and I will be using the Tower 28 in Drift. I think, I wonder if I wanna try these without an eye primer or like the glitter glue or if I want the glitter glue today. 
they feel like they stick on really well. I don't think I need the glitter glue today, so I'm going to skip the NYX glitter glue today. You know I usually wear it, but I have a feeling I'm thinking that this green one here, I don't think that this is going to have a problem gripping onto the eye. And should I stick a little bit of this before this up top? Because it like changes. Is that the one that changes? I thought it was. Yeah, it is. I just don't know if it's going to look good on top. I think I need to put this in the inner corner. <laughs> That's not a mirror. I, it's gonna, I'm going to get mess up, mess it up if I do that. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I'm just going to do this and start and then let it go to that. And we'll put this in the inner corner. So this is a Georgia peach. I think it says it's just really hard to read right there. Yeah, that's perfect. Just really wanting to try it without the, to see if I really need the glitter primer. These ones I, I noticed in the haunted palette, they stick to the eye really well. So I just don't know if, and when I, when, when you don't need it, that's awesome. Yeah, this was the right call. If I put that orange up here, I don't, I mean, it wouldn't have looked bad, but this is what I was going for. This was the look I wanted since I was making it all green, but I had to put the peaches down below. I'm so excited. I'm talking a mile a minute and probably making zero sense. I'm having such a blast with this, you guys. Like, these are all things that get considered when I rank things, like how excited I am playing with it and using it. Oh, this is so gorgeous, Christina. Oh my God. To even give the formula the chance without the glitter primer, or the glitter glue is like not really even like me either. Oh. One of my favorite colors in my entire collection again. You're like every color is your favorite color in your collection. Think straight it is. I don't I don't discriminate when it comes to color. Of course the phone goes off a million times when I'm filming. And it wasn't going off that much this morning. It's always going off just because the social media accounts actually. It doesn't matter. I need to oh my god, I forgot you guys. I will get that on silent. I'm gonna turn off the uh I'm gonna turn off the uh, uh vibration. I'll do it right after I quit recording. Okay, let's just smooth this on. Just taking, not that one, this one. Try lose B111. Just a little one to flatten it out. And this is so flippin' beautiful. I gotta send her a picture. A dream to work with. Uh, not a single issue with anything I worked with other than me not using color theory and trying to put that cool t color on top of that other one. But that didn't mean that this stuff doesn't go together. It goes together so well. But anyway, she made this one for her coloring. This one in the Secret Grow, uh, the owner made for her, like they were her palettes that she made for herself, for her coloring and stuff. Like the two that she wanted, that she she wanted, so... That's where the, those two came from, or the idea from them birthed from, or they were her two palettes. And now I just got to do this like cool little multi-chrome. I wish I'd even put a little bit more of the green right here just to help them come together. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to mix the inner corner shades because I just feel like this isn't working for me. So I'm going to mix my inner corner shades. Yeah, I like that. My eyes look so creepy today. Oh, it's bad. 
I didn't put skincare on last night. This is what happens to me. And I use cheap skincare instead of my good stuff too. And I don't wash my face. Okay. I have to start helping in the kitchen. I have five minutes. This is only review number one. More to come. I love it. I love, 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 love it. My eyes are a little wet from the watering. The, the watering actually didn't spill over today. The longer I keep my eyes open. Ooh, this one's about too bad. Okay, that one's about to like spill over watering. This one can look quite nice on the bottom lashes. I did put this in the worst of 2024, this mascara. And I have two full tubes of it, so I have to use it. I, my favorite I used all year was the uh, uh, Lancome Hypnos, and I forgot to put it in my best of 2024 because I had finished it. And um, I had forgotten that my new one was in my drawer and I hadn't opened that little thing. So I was like, oh, no, there's no other ones. This was the only one I needed, the only two I needed to talk about. And sure enough, the other one was in that bag and I should have checked it. I thought they were all, because they're all unopened tubes. I have like three or four years worth of mascara, three years worth of mascara. So I won't be buying mascara in a very long for a very long time. It's actually looking pretty nice today. It's not clumping too much today. I think I'm doing a better job applying it. I'm usually in such a rush. Yeah, the more of a rush you're in to put this on, it'll just clump all over. It's just a dry formula is all. I really, I really uh, wanted to love this, obviously, if I bought two tubes of it. I loved it for the first, like, three weeks, and then it just got really dry. And it's more of, I mean, it, it claims to be more voluminous than it does, um, like, lengthening. And I think that is true. It's just a little dry for me. I, I don't like wet mascara by any means, but it needs to be able to dry or like at least go up the lash before it feels dry to cover the lash at least and I still have a ton left okay I may before I do my short find something a little bit peachier for my lip but look at this with the color of my eyes I didn't even need to go back in and like fix the edges, did I? Let me double check really quick. Did I not even? Oh my God, it like barely even needs. So you know how you usually might need to just, eh. like it just doesn't even need it. It looks so nice. This is stunning. I This, you guys, is, I don't know, like, and I like what I did with the inner corner looking green and peach. In person, you can see it a lot better, and it looks way cool with the two. Okay, so I used this shade. I used this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade, this one, and this one, and this one. So I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 of the shades in here in this one look and not a single problem with any of them. In fact, they all built on each other. I can't believe that as many colors built on top of each other that did. I think it's stunning and I am so, so glad. Like if, if this had gone and I had not gotten this, I would be so sad right now. So before I take my short, I'm going to, well, here, you know what? I'll pause right now and I'll do it for you guys so you can see. Okay, so here we are. I gotta show you what I did. This looks a little... I might need to put the teeniest bit of the brown 
on the lower lash line, you guys. This this one here. Tell me what you think of this because I think it's necessary. On pause. Okay, so I took just a teeny bit of that brown, hit it under the lash line because I felt like it was making me look kind of sick or something. So that was actually perfect. Then I took a tiny bit of this e.l.f. Always Fresh blush just so that you could see a little bit more of the peach. And then I took this shade from uh, Clinique called uh, Summer Rose because it really hits and plays with those peachy tones. And then the juice, the juicy one from Blend Bunny. Now I think this is much more, also plays in the brown in my shirt. I love it. Okay, now I gotta go help my mom. I love it. Bye guys, have a good day.